Hey, what's up guys, Sandeep here. And in this video, I'm gonna share my PwC associate interview experience. So I interviewed at PwC as a front-end developer. So I got referred from one of the PwC associate from LinkedIn. So I interviewed for the front-end developer role and it doesn't have any as such years of experience. So it all depends on the interview, uh, what position you will be given. For me, they gave me associate after the interview. So I am just quoting it at PwC associate interview. So there were basically three rounds. One was the technical round, which was of one hour with two panelists. Uh, there was the second round, which is called the directorial round, or you can say is as a managerial round, which is 30 minutes. And the third one is an HR round, which depends on the time limit, which is 10 to 15 minutes. So as I told you that within this technical round, there were two panelists and both of the panelists were asking different sets of concepts or questions. You can say the first panelist who was focusing on mainly on different workflow and architecture and how I think about an, uh, before even building an application and what are the different advanced concepts, what are there while building any kind of application. So that is what one panelist was asking on and another pa panelist were asking on basic JS questions. So this is the setup question. I'll start with round one. The first question the panelist asked me was like, explain me your current projects and its architecture. Like how much will you rate yourself in JavaScript? Can you explain me when you decide when to use class component and functional component? Because I said them, I am a React developer. I work, mainly work on React. So the interviewer asked me like, when do you decide when to use class component and functional component? And the fourth one, like what are the advantages of using React over tradi traditional JS website? Number five is like explain local storage, session storage and cookie plus their life cycle. So if you see, if you know that HTML5 has all these features where it's uh, like uh, you have local storage, session storage and cookie. So basically interviewer wanted to ask what are these and their life cycle in there. Now the life cycle mean here basically is like the, he wanted me to tell about like when it, this all gets destroyed. So local storage will get destroyed whenever we manually clear it. Session storage will get destroyed whenever we close a tab and cookie have, we can set a time limit to it. Number six was like, have you ever used JSON web token or JWT? I said, yes. And then he was like, what are the advantages of it? So you need to understand how a JWT works to tell this, what are the advantages of it? Then how you use JWT in your application since I said the said him that I use it in my application. So he was like, can you explain me how you use it in your application? Number eight question was like, what are the security measures that you take while building and react application? This is the question that I'm, I wasn't like was sure about. So I didn't get as a satisfied answer to the interviewer, but the rest all of them, I gave quite a good answer to them. So yeah, these are the security, like these are the questions that the interviewer asked me who was mainly focusing on con like uh, different sets of architecture and workflow on a high level architecture, uh, like within, within the application itself, whatever you are building. So yeah. So this last set of question was asked by the other interviewer or the other panelist who was mainly focusing on JavaScript. So he asked me directly, what is bomb and what uh, the hierarchy of a bomb? If you don't know bomb, bomb is a browser object model and it has different sets of hierarchy. You can read it on Google. Number 10th was like, uh, can you tell me the difference between uh, like bomb and a DOM? So document object model and browser object model. What is the difference? Like what is the difference between promise and async await? So he first asked me what is promise and what is async await? And then he was like, can you tell me what is the main difference between a promise and async await? When should we use promise and when should we use async await? And then he was like, uh, the users of promise.all and promise.any. I needed, I needed to explain all these concepts of promise.all and promise.any. Then he gave me a hands on um, to do on code, code sandbox like he, he told me to center a div on the screen so it was quite simple to do so i did it and 14 was like he gave me few five or six console logs statements uh, and he told me to guess the output and whenever i'm guessing the output he told me to give the certain reason for what i am guessing so this was pretty much it for all this round yeah, it was on paper like one hour round but it hardly took 30 to 40 minutes uh, everything was quite straightforward mm. 
yeah interviewer was really good in explaining and uh, like um, telling things so if you are planning to uh, interview for pwc interviewer is like kind of a different uh, as according to other interviews because they will mostly focus on your all over knowledge and not only a js knowledge it, you need to understand whole application knowledge so that is that so i hope if you are try interviewing for um, pwc you do really well this was pretty much it for this video guys do like share and subscribe my youtube channel i'll be bringing more set of interviews like this and i hope you have a great day thank you so much